Hey, so I haven't filmed a recipe in a while, for me anyway. Um, and so I wanted to show you two, uh, you'll see this at some point. There's a whole lot going on here because behind me is a bunch of clean uh, dishes just hanging out everywhere I can find room. But anyway, um, so I'm going to show you how to make a hot cocoa mix I like to make. And um, it's really simple. And I'm going to, this, I wanted to specifically show you this jar. I got it from Dollar Tree and it has like a, a lid that um like a suction lid which is good because it'll keep the excess air out so let me get my measuring instruments so i also you don't see a lot of chocolate recipes on my channel because i can only eat certain kinds of chocolate so it's hard to find the ingredients i need to make a lot of chocolate recipes so what i did was uh this is a chocolate i can have this is the Ghirardelli. um and it doesn't have alkali. I think they do make one that does, but this is non-alkalized, meaning I can enjoy it. So the recipes are cocoa powder, sugar. My sister actually got me this container. You see a similar one back here. You'll see that in a recipe in a moment. Um, creamer. I usually use regular creamer, but French vanilla creamer is great. Hazelnut would be good. It'd probably taste like Nutella. And a little bit of salt. I use sea salt in all of my cooking. So that is just how I roll. So let us start. You are going to need one cup of cocoa powder. Um, I made a smaller batch with my sister recently, but I'm gonna make a large one for me because I do drink a lot of milk. So you're gonna need half a cup. Sorry, no, one cup. Half a cup was when I did it with her. I think she may be the only one drinking that. Most of my other family members probably are gonna drink Swiss Miss, which you can mix with water. I have never mixed this with water, so I can't tell you whether that would be good or not. So, and this funnel, I think it actually came from a kit. No, 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 I bought this by itself. This funnel is actually for when you're canning. So if you've ever seen a recipe where I use canning jars, this is what that recipe is for. And I also chose this jar with suction for a reason, you'll see that in a second. Then we're gonna use a half a cup of creamer sorry I'm gonna put this to the side in this whole mess half a cup of creamer I'm gonna use the one cup measure because it's just easier which is funny because I can't use it for the sugar because it has chocolate on it okay about half a cup of creamer if you want it creamier you can use that so this is not um this is lactose and gluten free, but I don't think it's like vegan, vegetarian, whatever. And it's just store brand. And I actually do need to get a different cup measure to measure the sugar. And that's a cup and a half of sugar. Actually, I'm just going to add the salt right now. It's so half a teaspoon of salt. I'm going to measure that in my hand because my hands are clean. So half a teaspoon of salt. There you go. And a cup and a half of sugar. This has some lumps in it. I've been getting most of them out. These lumps are just... Is the word persnickety? That's the word I'm going to use. So that's a cup. And the great thing about the funnel, there you go. Woo! It doesn't fit the rest. Don't worry, I'm actually just going to go put this in a larger jar. So, if you buy one of these from Dollar Tree, the one I just showed you, just do a half batch, but I'll be right back. So this is a mason jar, and this is the jar you'll actually get to, um, this is what they're made for, wide mouth jars like this. So, uh, back to the sugar, we have half a cup to add left, oh, that whole fiasco was hilarious, um, but you can also get these as gifts, it is the holiday season, there are people who make huge batches, um, there's one person... I think his name is Paul. This is about a quarter cup. I'm trying not to get lumps in it, but it's fine if it has lumps. You just gotta like get them out. There we go, half cup. And he uses like Nesquik and other things. I I don't because I can't have Nesquik. But he makes huge batches and gives them away. I am not doing that. You can do this in a bowl and then transfer it to a jar. This is all I'm gonna do. Just shake it up. So generally, you do want a jar big enough for you to shake all the stuff up. And <laughs> it's not fully shaken up. 
I love it. I love it. And there you go. And it's just two tablespoons for every cup of hot milk. And like I said, you can do different types of this cream. This is the this is of course the dry creamer, not liquid creamer. And this is shelf stable because all the other ingredients were shelf stable. I wouldn't recommend refrigerating it. This may actually clump stuff up, but I hope you enjoyed this recipe and my little fiasco and I'll see you all in the next video.